Here's how we connect an external monitor to your brain paint computer. Here's the, um, the cord from the monitor. The monitor is turned on over here. That's the external monitor. Here's the brain paint laptop. We find the port with these different these 15 pins on it like this, or the plug the monitor cable into the hole like so. And then notice how when we plug it in like this, that we'll see there's these big bands on the screen, on the sides of the monitors, and that's just right in the middle of the monitor, so it's the same size. So here's what we would do, um, is that we would first click the this little arrow down here, this little up arrow. Uh, we're going to find the thing that says um, uh, Intel graphics card. There'll be a, a graphics thing. And we're, we put our mouse over the properties, or graphic options rather, and then we see the option that says panel fit, monitor, and scale full screen. We cl left click on the thing that says scale full screen. I'm just going to go over that one more time. So down here, I click the up arrow that says show hidden icons. If we don't see it down here, when we put our mouse over them, it'll say a thing. When you put our mouse over, it'll say something about graphics um, on it. So we left click on the little Intel icon in this case, put our mouse over graphics options, a little pop-up thing slides up to the left, and we click, we'll put our mouse over panel fit, then we put our mouse back over on monitor, and we put it back over on scale full screen. And now it f will fill up the secondary monitor with the um, full screen like that. If we want our own laptop also to fit the full screen, we're going to do the same thing. We'll click the up arrow. We'll put our mouse over the, um, in the graphics options, uh, graphics options again, but panel fit. But this time we're going to say built, oops, built-in display, panel fit, and the built-in display, that means the display that's built into the laptop, and we're going to select scale full screen there too. So now both monitors should be scaled to the full screen, like that, so it'll take up, there's no more bars on, and that's it. Once in a while, with some monitors, when you plug the secondary monitor in, it would actually look like this. Um, where just the laptop will be on, and the other monitor will just say something like no signal like that. In that case, if we're gonna, if we look at these F keys on the keyboard, uh, there's the F keys or the function keys that stands for. One of them has like two monitor-looking things on it. It happens to be on this keyboard F8. It's usually the F8 key. And that when they have those little blue monitors, it means we can press this little blue Fn key. That means the function key. We hold that down while we just one time just tap and let it go. The the uh, monitor just once. It takes about 20 seconds often for it to um, find the, the monitor. So there it turned on the secondary monitor, but we want to see it on this monitor too. So we should be able to hold down the function key and just tap once again the F8 key. And now uh, it should display both monitors and this is it in a cloned mode. So now we have the monitor on both screens. So that, you may have to do that with some monitors uh, to get the, them to display on them. That's it. Hope this helps and enjoy.